Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi cancer this is Shah, and this is your reading for september the romance reading your first card is love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes, if you do take care of yourself and you don't burn the candle on both sides, for example, and you get dressed up, you have your hair done, you'll be the beacon, you'll be the magnet, and you will attract new love. Even in an existing relationship, we have to upkeep ourselves and love ourselves and not to and the message here is not to forget yourself. You are just as important in this relationship, if not the most important. Otherwise, you can't keep the balance and, and be active in a relationship. We call that equilibrium. So take care of yourself and you'll be the magnet. And it's not only uh, the inside that counts, but also the outside, the eye wants something as well. That is what I'm hearing. So if you've been a little bit bored and been slacking looking after yourself and loving yourself, then start now and take action. Be the phoenix that rises from the ashes. That will put also a new perspective and perhaps a new bite in the relationship refresh from time to time so take action be creative and be the um, rising Venus from the ashes don't forget yourself there is a beginning there so you might go up to the next level because you are attractive and you are loving yourself so you'll be shining that positivity that independence light the fire signs boom great stuff so if you're not hooked up, then you could be attracting, if you do this, at, uh, what I've advised you to do, then you might just catch an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. Let go of control issues. Yes, do that. Nobody likes a bossy person. They want space as well. Everybody needs space, even in a relationship. Okay, and again, a new beginning because you've got the Ace, uh, Queen of Earth. So again, nurturing. Look, she's carrying a baby. This, uh, the, she's Mother Earth. She nurtures the seeds that she sows and she nurtures them until they grow, blossom, and she um, can pluck the harvest and time and time again. So you, you might be fertile. If you're wishing to get pregnant, then you could be getting pregnant now, so long you let go of the control issues, because that brings stress. So relax, relax, relax. Okay, that's the word I'm hearing. I'm hearing it in such a voice. Now get on with it and do it. Okay, the new beginning is here. 
you've looked after yourself, you love yourself, you've, you're rising from the ashes, now it's your time to be a mum, if that is if what you wish. If not, this could be a new project, a new step, a new project or a new level in the relationship. And this is also confirming the energy of the first week. But you must be active, you must be mellow. Let go, okay? Give room. Like to spread your branches, to spread your arms or wings and fly like the Venus. That is, you need room. There is need in this relationship. You have to give room. You have to have also time for yourself to love yourself. Express your love. Go ahead and make this romantic gesture. Yes, put your best dress on and put your makeup on or your wall paint and go out there and make this romantic gesture. Take them out to dinner or a cup of coffee or a drink or a picnic. And again, you have the two of air. The two of air is take off that blindfold and see what you look like. You want to look like Cinderella. This is the coach of Cinderella with the white horses. Open your heart, open your solar plex, open your mind to new ideas. You can find the balance. Don't just look in front of you, look around you. You've got the fire signs, you've got the earth sign, the queen of earth, and the queen of earth is Virgo. So you could be meeting somebody in Virgo time, and we are in Virgo now, and you could be meeting a Virgo as well. Okay, if you're not hooked up, and if you are hooked up, then this is a new beginning, coming together, seeing how you can come together, make that gesture, be creative like the fire signs and the air signs let your inner child come out to play okay release your ex if you are still thinking about your ex uh, and you're not hooked up then let go make room you know it's like uh, uh, your rucksack you have to like this card is really like the hermit to me because you have to uh, meditate contemplate, evaluate and let go of what is of no use to you, whether it's an ex or an, uh, a, an ex job or whatever. Don't hang in that depressive uh, mind state or energy. Let go. Look what is around you. There's a whole beautiful world around you. There's romance around you. There's love around you. Just let go of control issues. Okay? You're not the supervisor at work. You are in a relationship. You have to do things together. Okay. Then you have the six of fire. You have victory at the end of the month. You might be going on holiday with this new partner. You might be moving in with this new partner or buying a house. If you are hooked up, you might actually be expending the family. Okay. The ace of earth is here. Or the queen of earth rather the mother earth so you might be pregnant or finding out that you're pregnant now it's the good time to be pregnant going uh, moving away from rough waters going into smoother waters that is what you need to do but take action the six of fire is the six of wands so that means that you have got their recognition you are in the spotlight with this they love you for who you are okay but now because you're active and you're nurturing because that's the active and nurturing site has come together you are attractive so long you let the ex go perhaps the ex still has an eye on you let it go you know, it is an ex okay they're not you don't want them back you're busy with the now you are the phoenix of that is rising and you are attracting big time so long you love yourself okay now you might be traveling like I said, okay, and here we've got a boat, well no, we've got yeah, a bird of paradise, a boat, it looks a bit of a shape of a boat, I see more in cards, so, and it, it's like waves of air or water to me, so you might be crossing water, you might be going on holiday together with this new person, you might be taking time out or moving in. You might be buying a car if you had your eye on a car. 
Perhaps you're buying a car together. Wow, you're going onwards and upwards. You're going on to the next level, like I said. Wow, you are the champion. Now the overall energy is the king of earth. So we have the couples. So this month is a coupling up month with somebody. And I think it could be a fire sign because you've got two fires and you've got one air but two earths. So take note of that and you've got the king of earth so everything you touch will turn to gold, it will turn out positive. Wow. Now, something is swinging, balance, find the balance too. Open your heart, eyes, open your solar plex, find the balance. Be curious, let the inner child come out like I said, children are curious. Okay, curious, curious rest. You need rest to evaluate, like I said, and contemplate. Whether it is the windiest of days or the quietest of days, a little dose of curiosity will go a long way to brighten it up. Lean inward and inquire within your heart if some, in, some insights you seem to have suppressed. Like not, you're too much in your head. Okay, with the two swords and you closed yourself off. Cannot be rekindled. It's only been safely stored away so that now that you are receptive, it can be revealed in light of day's awareness. Rising. Okay, there is, there will be a subtle re uh, recognition, an inkling, an intuitive understanding of having been heard, even if your mind is still in doubt. Stay a quick, say a quick hello to your wise self, and then and have a conversation about life, life's more recent happenings. Do also relinquish that arduous and useless undertaking of trying to fix it or figuring it out. Just be there in delight. Let go. Wow. Awesome. If you need help or support or people to talk to, I'm sure you have enough people around you. That is what the answer of the angels is. Okay helpful people don't shy away to ask for help oh my goodness i was talking about your inner child coming out look at this and you've got the child or you might be pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions whether you're a man or a woman and 13 13 to me is the i ching fellowship friendship there's more friends coming in go out there be yourself be playful you the sh light is shining on you because you have victory you're in the limelight big time and you've got the page of spades so there is news coming to you this could be um, a, a page of air um, the page is um, set uh, Aquarius but it could also be Gemini or Libra let your inner child out, new beginnings, a birth, a pregnancy, hearing of a birth, could be a new hobby, a new job if you've been worried and stressed and that's why you were in your head, you wanted that to get settled before you started a new relationship, perhaps you've moved away and started all anew, and that is if you are not coupled up or where if you have been divorced, so there might be a new relationship coming or already have started so show express your love towards each other and have trust that this is totally different don't um, evaluate or um, compare the old with the new accept this wholeheartedly by opening your heart and your sight and mind let it blossom take it step by step like the queen of earth slowly does it you can't run before you play but you are the phoenix rising from the ashes whether you're hooked up or not you are going up to the next level you are coming together boom you've got the two 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 means partnering up you've got the king and the queen partnering up 
absolutely awesome. So I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Cancer. Take care, my little Cancers. I love you. And please like and subscribe and click all on the bell, A-L-L. -L. And if not, then please refresh it if you're not getting notified. That's what I just happened to find out by accident. Take care. Love you all. Ciao, ciao.